principles are open, there are five foundational components that go into open or openness um, that are very interdependent on each other. They're great principles on their own, but when you put the five together, you then have a sustainable framework for the whole of your ecosystem to work within. So it's about transparency, collaboration, adaptability, community, and inclusivity. And what an open organization does is they take these five principles and they look at ways for you to actually put to feet on them, if you will, so you can actually walk them out in your business. So there's a framework behind that in collaboration in how we do knowledge sharing. Um, it would be part of that looking at your technology behind having knowledge commons, um, knocking down your silos so that there are feedback loops, so that your feedback is actually in real time, that it's tangible, it's usable feedback. Um, it's looking at um, who has access to that information, even externally. So it's not just about the silos that a company has internally for knowledge sharing and access to documents and problem solving tools, but it would also be there are levels to that and how you would work with people outside. So your external stakeholders, your clients, what measure of access do they have to information? Which kind of ties to transparency, right? So we want transparency in our leaders in being honest and authentic in how we share our wins and our failures and communicate but we also need transparency in access to our knowledge and communication that we have amongst our people. Um, and then again, you know, that allows people to understand faster. So they're, they're able to adapt and keep, um, keep up with client needs faster and the move of movement of the marketplace faster. And then the inclusivity piece is really understanding that we have to have more diversity in our workforce and that's diversity in age, it's diversity in cultures, it's diversity in backgrounds and educational backgrounds. If we have a richer perspective and point of views that we bring to the table, we ultimately can solve um, problems faster, but do better uh, in, in furthering whatever our goals are with our clients and for our internal goals as a company. Um, you know, all of these things together really are creating a framework for people to do their best work. So it's, it's an environment where people feel valued, that their contribution actually matters, their voices are heard, um, they're able to make decisions to be empowered to do that. You know, very few of us want to just sit around and be told what to do or be handed a task list and a role. Um, we want to be able to have purpose and a sense of adventure in our work. And when we do that, that's where that our intelligence, intelligence is really unleashed to be able to be, you know, problem solvers. Everybody's a problem solver. No matter what your role is, you're solving a problem. And in order to do that, we using these five principles help us do that in a better way.